Oh, so what's my own with you? You know all this how Niger Wolo Majari me or Kukuri. All of a sudden when the when the pedestrian like turned green, he started he ran towards me as if he wanted to hit me, like ah, oh god. I'm not in your way now. Okay. And the guy was jogging before, like Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Evelyn. I'm a Berlin based Nigerian YouTuber. I film about lifestyle, travel, vlogs and all those good stuff. Happy New Year everyone. Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you for the support so far. Thank you for the support last year. Met a lot of people through this platform. I was able to share my experience and knowledge and thoughts and all that. I'm really grateful for this platform and we hope that this year we are able to grow beyond leaps and bounds in Jesus name and that Amen. God will use us here to bless you over there in Jesus name. Amen. Do you have anything to say to welcome the new year? Happy new year everyone. Thanks for last year. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll, this year we we'll re really hope to get it do more. And um, if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe now. And if you are already subscribed, turn on your notifications if you have not. And if you're also subscribed, share this link with your friend right now by yeah. clicking the share button. We hope to get the news out there. Help us spread the news, help us grow the channel, help us grow the, the, the community on this. Thank you. Yeah. since we moved mm -hmm. to Germany and so this is like a two-year review yeah. Yeah. so as always as a different place as as always as it happens as it happens when you move to a different place there's always culture difference there's always culture shock and I don't even think two years is even long enough to be able to get all the cultural differences that are bound in a particular place but so far we've seen a lot <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 and um what has it been for you uh, pertaining to culture shock i think for me it's been really interesting because i think my first day here I just came directly from from the airport i went directly to work from just from nigeria left on the 31st of august landed here september 1st and directly i went straight to work so I tried as, mo as much as possible to settle into the culture as quickly as I could and um, I think quite, for me, I, th I think that it's different for quite a number of people that ah, let me just still move around but interestingly for the first year it wasn't that but when you get more into the system or more into the community around there, you just feel that quite a number of things are different, you miss home um, uh, what's the thing called? Quite a number of things are different. People are different. Then there was a time recently I had one interesting shock. One interesting experience. Not necessarily. It was a, it was a shocking experience. Not just a sh <laughs> it was a, it was both together. So it was an experience and a shocking experience. And if, I think in my one year, I think that was one year and eleven months in Germany so far in Berlin. I've never had such such. I've been to places where it's just you just go into the restaurant. You're the only black person, skin, colored skin person, yeah. have your skin colored or colored skin person, and you mm -hmm. don't experience any interesting treatment. But this was this one was very, very, very uh, I would say shocking. As sh it was a shocking experience. I was at the what's the thing called pedestrian stop, and and this there was still that man at the other side. And all of a sudden, it was jogging. So when the travel, when the pedestrian light told us to stop, he also stopped. But he was jogging, and all of a sudden, he just when he looked up and saw me, he I had, he had a very very interesting expression. Like, what is this? It became. It looked so like he wanted to attack or something from just from afar off, or he was angry looking at me. So I I was like, well, I don't care. I'm heading you know, home. So what's my own with you? You know this how Niger All of a sudden, when the when the pedestrian like turned green, he started he ran towards me, as if he wanted to hit me. Like ah, Oga, I'm not in your way now. Okay. And the guy was jogging before. Like 
really i've not seen this it was it looked really aggressive and as if he wanted to hit so i moved away and i looked at him and just continued. He didn't, he didn't continue. He stopped at the other side. He looked back and he just reduced his speed. Are you serious? I said, yeah, man. And I was like, ah. But nobody was around. It was about 3 p.m. in the afternoon. I had to rush home for something from work or so. But like that's that's one experience. That is actually bad. That we witnessed so yeah, far. Yeah, that, that was my that was like targeted yeah. towards you. Guys. Yeah, it was. Then I think. Christmas market like some weeks back we went out with a yeah. friend about a husband went um went had to go home on time or something so we were coming from church coming back from church in the afternoon this was Berlin yeah it was in the night around 6 p.m it was not in the night it was in the evening yeah but it gets dark like already dark. yes really gets dark really early and this guy just we went to buy sweet potato pommes sweet, sweet potato fries yeah and we're eating just everybody hanging around the Christmas Christmas, Christmas markets market. at the Potsdamer Platz. I will mention the place yeah. to call it out. And this guy, he should be in his early twenties uh, or late teens. He should be maybe in the nineteen or eighteen yeah. range or early twenties. All of a sudden, he came and made the this monkey noise to my friend. To our friend, like, what? I didn't even see him. I was in I front. was I was really angry because. A day before it was when the uh, Manchester United played Man City, and there was this Man City fan that was making the to Rashford and Fred. No, it was, it was Lingard and Fred. Oh, Lingard and Fred. Okay. Was making this uh, this interesting racist uh, um, chant and uh, expression. I really, you look younger. You you should more in life. I yeah. was really angry, and because immediately he did it, he, he just ran away. He just ran moved. The, he moved away. Not he, yeah. He moved away. I feel like no 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 this this is not acceptable this is but you know we move we move yeah. and do, 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 maybe those were just the two experiences but apart from that it's been a welcoming place um welcoming community a welcoming environment for me so far i've learned that you don't have to actually accept everything that is done in a particular place to blend them for instance for us we don't we're not used to clubbing and even staying out late at night so even if there is a um, gathering from work, once it's seven, eight, like you're already looking at the time, like it's time to go, it's time to go. And unlike the normal, the norm here, where it's normal to stay late at night till twelve, one, you still hear people outside the window even at night, just coming out, coming back from wherever it is. So if you're not used to what I've learned so far, if you're not used to what is happening around you just do what you can do <laughs> and do not go beyond your limits because there's no point trying to be who you are not you understand especially really during this winter where it's going to get really dark early mm -hmm. like it's five and it's really really dark so in your mind you're like i'm already I'm really low what am i doing outside by this time so when you check there okay it's still five and then six and then seven and then eight okay it's time to go home you know so what I've learned so far is if it's if it doesn't go along with your values and culture, for instance, someone is smoking beside you, you don't have to buy it because you're 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 in the city to blend in. You know, you don't have to buy whatever it is that it's happening because you're no longer where you originated from, you somewhere else, you're accepted somewhere else, you know. Yeah, that is what I've learned so far. Mm, I think in as much as possible so there's there's one side to it and there's the other side so open-mindedness is very very key yeah open-mindedness and um even though you don't accept some things you you tolerate them because yes it's we are we are all humans we are different so yes. example is if someone comes to if someone comes to uh goes to let's say someone from here goes to nigeria and people are eating with ants. I'm like, basically, like, what? Why are you eating with your ants? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's totally different. So, open my ears is very very important. Yes. Um, and as much as possible, you have to learn to be di. You have to understand diversity in yeah. different directions, however you want to point it. Yes. And you have to respect people's opinions. I think, um, yeah, I think that I think that's it. I think there was one time. Uh, what's the thing called? I was at work and there was this lady that we have open, we have, do, uh, have open, uh, what's the thing called? 
we have a dog policy so we can bring dogs to work mm. and I, uh, where I come from in Nigeria don't say we eat dogs we don't eat dogs no, okay. no, some part, not, maybe some parts eat dogs but we don't eat dogs but dogs are seen as wild animals yeah, <laughs> as kind of, majorly I remember my experience when I was in SD3 was, I was, uh, what's this thing called? I was attacked by a dog. Ah, I remember. My, if my friends can remember, I'm sure I remember very vividly. Really. And I've, ever since then, I've had this um, wall between myself and dogs. So this colleague of mine, I think, went to the Christmas party together. Yeah, he was going to bring um, summer party. Summer, yeah, summer party. And he told my wife that, ah, he's going to make sure I play with dog. And she also said, so I eventually I play with the dog. But that's not even the story. It was one that happened, I think, a day before my vacation in last December. And she, the lady brought her dog and she said, ah, this is the dog. I said, ah, the dog has really grown. She said, ah, yeah. And she said, she used pronoun for the dog, she. And me, I by default, I would have used it. So I think I used it. And she said, ah, it's she. She now said something like she. And immediately I had to correct myself to say, ah, no, yeah, she. she. Yeah. And it's a conversation and, you know, Eventually, it's a she, it's a she dog. Yeah, she dog. <laughs> the, the female dog. Yes. You know, and I had to understand and respect that, yeah, that opinion. And is so sometimes it's a flip. There are different yeah, sides to it. Balance. Thank you for bringing balance too. And you have to understand that. Yeah, it's true. Tolerance. Actually, yes, tolerance. You know. And open mindedness. And open mindedness. I agree. Also, um. People believe that it's actually a bit difficult to have friends that are not like you, like they don't look like you. For me, I quite agree because my husband doesn't agree with me. Because I'm a student and I go to school, I, I know that it's a bit hard to have friends from the international community, or sorry, from, um, I don't know, it's it's a bit difficult compared to where I'm coming from. Maybe I should say it that way. It's a bit difficult to have friends here. So, it was something that I had to intentionally do. Even if the person is not um, white or black like me. In fact, this time last, no, yeah, around this time last year, I had to start praying for good friends in my company because this time last year, we were just basically the only one. We didn't have any close friends like that. And thank God for 2019. Like, God answered my prayers. He's still answering it. And brought a lot of people our way. You know, people that we can call, call close fam family friends and all that. So, so I actually say that ah, Nigerians living abroad, even though you are in a good system, you, um, so people could be dying of loneliness because you might not even know what your next door neighbor looks like, really. You might not know what your you might not know you might just see your colleagues at work and that's just it you might yeah you might not be able to i don't know maybe because of our type of upbringing i don't know sometimes we tend to seclude ourselves so if you are not if you do not intentionally socialize it might get a bit hard for you to make friends here <laughs> that's what i feel yeah so there are different sides to it so um, um, I think that that is all, that is that is a truth, but not the entire truth. So, I was talking to a, f a friend of ours in church, or a church member, and he said, "Ah, he took um, Nigerian food to what's the thing called the, their neighbor," and he said, "Ah, would you like?" To? And they invited them in, and after a while, they started exchanging food, and they became they were neighbors, and they started talking, and they, Perhaps. you know, yeah. And I, I don't for us, we've not ever, we've never done that. Yeah. We've never even gone to see any of our neighbors. So what I do is once I meet a neighbor in the elevator, we I exchange we exchange pleasantries, we start talking and sometimes they even tell me, ah they've been they just moved here one year and I say, like, ah we've been here two years, like, ah wow. But because we stay on the third floor <laughs> and usually when we start from the ground uh, ground floor, first, second, third, I'm already we're already out. I'm already out and so probably they are going to the last floor, which is probably the fifth floor. So but we try to, I try to engage them in conversations. Yeah. And sometimes, it's just, I think, like I mentioned before, open-mindedness. Because the way people, might, the way we make friends in Nigeria, so there was this handyman that came around yesterday. I thought it was from, I thought it was from another country. But he told me that he's from Brazil. I know Brazilians are kind of similar to uh, Nigerians. Nigerians, or in terms of how we relate. Yeah. 
before anything at all, he told me about his family. Things about him. He has been. He stayed in Brazil for some time. He, there are the places in Brazil. He has been. He stayed in Spain for uh, fifteen years, and that's kind of similar to if you invite. But but uh, can you come and help you fix your life? He was, he was started, started conversation. In fact, he told me that he has children. He has, do I have children? He said no. He said ah, he has children. He has two boys. That in fact, his wife is always taking them to school. That the last time they went to this Sylvester, this uh, Sylvester that first party. Sylvester party last year, it was too, it was too rough that they could not get him. That he took his boys. He didn't like it. They had to go back home. But this year, he's not taking his boys. He told me almost everything. In fact, I could tell that he's married. He has children. He has stayed in <laughs> uh, Spain for this number of years. He stayed in Brazil. You can say it's basic history. I can say it's basic history. Just by interacting and he was really welcoming. He was asking me questions like ah he was just trying to get the conversation going. You could know that this is probably different from what he's been experiencing yeah. experiencing before. And the flip side is on this if you're talking to maybe you add, so I, if you're talking to maybe someone from Germany, it might be different, but it, it needs to get a certain level of you need to be you need to understand how they make friends before you can be friends with them. And the Bible says something. The Bible says, you who must have friends must show himself friendly. And that is contextual because how you show being friendly in Nigeria is different from here. It's different from how you show being friendly to a German or maybe someone in, in the UK, someone in the Netherlands. Oh, and we've spoken with people, in the, people, say, oh, people from the Netherlands are more chill. I don't know. I've not been, I've not been there. But it, it, it differs, you know? And that thing I also notice is that even when you meet someone, like, maybe of your color, people are actually careful to bring people into their circle because they don't know who that person is, you know? They don't know who the person is. They don't know how the person came into Germany. People don't want to put themselves into trouble because they know that if I bring you into my circle and you cause trouble for me, or, or you make trouble, you can also cause trouble for me. You understand? Like in Nigeria, that I can just throw you out and fling you out. You know, it's not like that. Once I bring you into my home, once I bring you to my circle, and you know where I am and all that, a lot of these things are really, really interconnected. You know my address. You know my home. So this might also be a reason why people find it hard to make friends or be friends with people or bring people into your circle. But to be friendly or to make friends, like he said, you also have to be friendly. Like you have to intentionally socialize and yeah so like i mentioned i don't think we've ever gone to that in i think that on, on the ground on the ground floor we have sometimes in summer we have children playing yeah in the sand and they are they are, they are germans playing in the sand like the way we play with sand in nigeria and we've never even gone to say ah, can we sit with you guys no we just stay upstairs i'm saying ah. we don't have kids yet now but so. it doesn't matter sometimes it, it's not sometimes some of them are not even parents of the children i think they're just neighbors you really, I, you can't know, really say until you ask the who? parents are there but yeah. they're not all of them are not parents parents like, like the other people that come you know, there them. was one was it not me uh, you and i were downstairs one day, and one one child one neighbor one neighbor was calling upstairs that this one should come downstairs <laughs> that should come and play yeah that means they have a front kind of playing uh, uh, relationship, relationship. It's not so I don't, that we should always look at it. We, maybe because it's because we decide to stay indoors all the time. Okay, yes, 2020. Me, so, in these two years of mine, I've come to realize that you have to do most things yourself. It's sad. Well, of course, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. You have to do most things yourself. Like, it's not sad. It's not sad. <laughs> it's okay. not sad. It's, it's different. You know the way it is in Nigeria, where you, on your way back from work you can just pick some things, prepared vegetable. It's not like that. You have to go all the way. It's like a journey. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you go to a deca, then I yeah. cannot see everything that I want in a deca. Yeah. <laughs> it's because you. They don't sell titles fish or croaker. Wait, must you eat titles fish or croaker? If you are, let me give you. Let me ask you one question. If you are coming all the way from work, you are staying in Bagada. Will, yeah. will, you, will you buy in that uh, wasn't Charlie Boy area? Will you buy titles and croaker on that place? Yes. Where did? Uh-uh, they say all those fish on that road mm. there now, beside that one general hospital. Which general hospital? That road, that Where road in staying? front of Deeper Life. Were you staying in front of Deeper Life? Deeper Life? You know, oh, you were market. staying... No, we, no, there, no, there's a market on that Pedro Road now. Which Pedro Road? There's a market on, there's market on that road. That, I know there's a market on that road. They don't, on that route to the house, there is no... But I don't have to travel for one hour. Which one now? If because you wait, if you should want to ask market, that I can just go in testing myself. Calm back. down, calm down. It's because there's no there's no store around that sells the kind of food that you're eating. So it's not like and same thing. So that 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 no, is not the same thing. If you were coming from work, 
and you you bought something at the store downstairs. I still buy stuff from exactly. the store downstairs. Exactly. But they don't say yam and plantain. Hey, it's because it's not the staple food that they eat now. It's the same thing we are saying. No, it's not the same thing, John. <laughs> they don't sell yam and plantain downstairs, so I have to it's go. Not it's not eating. something that is eating. Hey, I'm not saying it should be. I'm just no, saying what I eat it. is far away. I'm not saying that I should stop buying plantain and yam, that you'll be eating what we buy in a deca. I'm saying that it's not a reason to, to say that, to complain about. I'm not complaining, I'm just stating what is happening. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, I agree with you. You're not, you're not complaining. Because you had cooker fish today, now and it's sweet. I don't say it's in a deca. And before before eating it today, have I ever complained that? But we gave thanks after we ate croaker. When Jesus is Lord, we thank God. At least we were able to feel croaker fish in our I mouth. I didn't give thanks because of the croaker fish. You gave thanks because there was food available. Exactly. Glory to God. Okay. And every time I eat, I always give thanks. But when you ate plantain, too. Eh. Uh, but for I can't go without plantain for how, how many? That's what I'm saying. That should we stop going to Punjab markets? If you want to. So that we can be buying a big deal. For me, it's not yes. I think we don't want to make this video too long, so we've come to the end of this video. Yes. In conclusion, be yourself. If you're a Nigerian outside the country and you're feeling lonely, it gets better. You know, you just have to try and go out more. Be intentional about it. Visit people. Learn about the culture. Learn about the place. Go out more. Be yourself. And be better you know yes yeah, so thank you for watching we really appreciate you like we said earlier yeah do you have any last words no for me i just uh, be open-minded just respect um uh what's it respect the culture be open-minded and if it doesn't me if it doesn't align with your own core values you don't have to do it yeah. you don't have to say yeah, i'm open-minded i'm open-minded if you define your values before and be, be open-minded and if it doesn't um, align with your values, don't do it. If it aligns with it and doesn't change anything, why not? And one of the things that a lot of people should understand, because, because sometimes people quote Bible and say, ah, they want to, uh, they go to another land, kinika, kinika, and different things like that. And you know, sometimes when I, once in a while I get to reflect by the, by the help of God and with the help of the Holy Spirit to reflect on the story of Daniel and how then Daniel were taken from Jerusalem to Babylon. And you know, it's 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 sometimes we don't on sometimes it's difficult to find them because it doesn't happen now. But some of us are we left for left because of work or because we wanted to settle somewhere else. Those are, those kind of experiences are similar. But you can see that even though then Daniel went to the place, he said it the proposed in survival says Daniel proposed in his heart not to compromise. Mm. Just, just, just feel, but it, it didn't mean that Daniel did not speak their language. <laughs> yes, mm. it's deep. Because when Daniel wanted to go and talk to the <laughs> chief of Enoch for Nebuchadnezzar, he, he, he discussed with the chief of Enoch that mm. we want to eat fruits and vegetables, not the meats given to the idols. We want to eat fruit and vegetables. It's not that we want to go and eat the food that they bring from Jerusalem. Mm. He just said they wanted to, he, they wanted to eat fruits and vegetables. And he didn't speak Hebrew. Mm. Yeah, true. And didn't speak English. He must have discussed in, in English. Language. In their language. So there's Russian Philly Deutsch. Yeah. So that, that's one part to look at it. And for, look at it, Daniel Rose. When uh, Daniel rose in the system to a high to a very yeah. high rank. And he said the, he had the, he interpreted dream for the, the not say when he was interpreting dream, he had an interpreter. Yeah. He, had, he interpreted the dream, he must have spoken the what king's language. Go? So, those are the things that people have to pay attention. And he didn't say that Daniel, uh, Daniel, uh, Daniel had friends, which we, they came from Jerusalem together. But the people in the place were, didn't, didn't like him because of the things, because it was against. But those, those are just normal things. Mm. Okay, so thank you for watching. We are grateful. Thank you all for watching. Please click the like button. Like now. And drop a comment below if you agree or do not agree with what we said. Sorry. Yeah. And um, please share subscribe. with friends, subscribe to and do share right now. Yes, a lot of content coming your way this year, and uh, yeah, we're happy to share our lives with you. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.